Hey, Scott Lair of the Cruise Genius.com on the MSC Seashore, November 2nd, 2024, from our balcony here, cabin 14266. Marty and I really like this aft cabin because it is very close to those aft glass elevators that go right down there to the uh, infinity pool there at the back of the ship. The midship elevators and the front elevators can get very, very crowded at times. So if you are booking a cruise, try to get something near the back of the ship. Uh, it's not bumpy or rocky or anything like that. Yeah, everybody says get a midship cabin lower, um, you know, deck five, six, seven, eight. You're not gonna feel the wave so much, but we're up here on deck 14, which is pretty high. The top deck is 18. And yeah, you know, you feel the wind and, and this, that, and the other. But I will tell you, this cabin has been absolutely perfect. We've had a great cabin steward, and the cabin is very nice. Uh, got the mini fridge, everything like that. So, quick review of the MSC Seashore. And going back to when we were boarding, I was a little upset because we had a boarding time of 12 p.m. And there were a lot of people in line at Terminal 10 there at Port Canaveral. Well, when we got inside, I found out from one of the staffers that it was open boarding, open boarding, come one, come all. Well, what good is it to have a boarding pass that says 12 o'clock when people who can board at one or two or 2.30 can board at 12? It just doesn't make sense. Now, I will say when Marty and I were on the Celebrity Reflection about a year ago, I think we had a boarding time of around 12. We got there about 11.15, and they did let us board, which was very nice. All I'm saying is, if the cruise line is going to put a boarding time on your boarding pass, it should, be, it should mean something, right? Now, we all know people will fly into a city early. What am I going to do till 1 or 2? I get it. But anyway, there was a long line. The line did move quickly. We went through uh, all the steps through security and through getting checked in fairly quickly, and boom, we were on the ship. Now, the best thing about it was, I think we got on the ship around 12 o'clock and the cabin was ready. Now, that's always good because a lot of times people just wanna drop off their luggage and go to the pool or get something to eat. But it really is nice when your cabin's ready because then you can kind of just, you know, unpack, relax, stuff like that. So, and then, you know, we went to Ocean K, which Marty and I really liked. The best part about it is, is that we spent the night there. So we left on a Sunday. We got to Ocean K on Monday around 8 a.m. Uh, we went on the beach. Uh, we rented an umbrella like for $19 because I rented it ahead of time. We had lunch on Ocean K. The ship spent the night in Ocean K and we were there till 4 p.m. the next day, which was really cool. Because when you go to Half Moon K or you go to um, Coco K or something like that, usually the ship will pull in eight, nine o'clock, it leaves around four, and you really don't have a lot of time on the private island. So MSC has got it right about spending the night. Now this was a seven day cruise, so that's why we were able to spend the night. The food on the ship has been very good. The service has been very good. The only thing I really wish is I wish you could buy a 12 pack of water or you know, something like that because you can do that on a carnival and that can save you f some money. And I remember on Celebrity, they do allow you to bring a 12 pack of soda per person uh, or a, a 12 pack of water per person that can really save you a lot of money. So, you know, that's where I, I really like Celebrity. Would Marty and I sail on MSC Seashore again every day of the week? We love the ship. We love the crew. We love the uh, the kids club. It's great for the kids. Everything about the MSC Seashore is great. If you have any questions, email me, slair1961 at gmail.com, scottlair, the cruise genius.com. Like and subscribe.